let's study about electron affinity so if you see the definition of electron affinity that it is defined as the amount of energy released so as we are studying about the periodic properties of elements that in the free previous class we studied about the uh, metallic properties non-metallic properties atomic radius and then uh, ionizations energy and this class is about the electron affinity so we need to think that as electron affinity is a periodic properties of an element how we need to think about it so as this is a modern periodic table and you know that from the left to right if we go to any periods then the atomic radius is decreased and then if you go from higher to lower in a group then the atomic radius will be increased so the relations with this atomic radius and the electron affinity is a vice versa this is the first line that i'm saying here to make you understand how to think so if, if you go from here to from left to right of any periods as we have seven periods and if you go from left to right the atomic radius will decrease so we know it earlier and if you go in a group from upwards to downwards then the atomic radius will increase so as we know that electron affinity is a vice versa so we know that electron affinity in this case if we go to right then it will increase and if we go to downwards in a group the electron affinity will decrease now we need to think that what is the definition of electron affinity if you see that it is defined as the amount of energy released why it will be released this is the first question so why it will be released as because the amount of energy is released when an electron will be added so or when an electron is attached to the neutral atom or molecule in the gaseous state that is very very important that in the class of um, ionization energy we started that we need to release we need to remove one electron and now this is the very opposite of that we are adding electrons to a neutral atom or neutral molecule in the gaseous state so when we are adding electrons into the neutral atoms or molecules then energy will be released and then that energy the expression of the energy should be negative as because energy is releasing so we will express this energy when we will express in quantitative value it should be minus so the definition is that electron affinity is defined it is defined as the amount of energy is released when an atom when an electron is attached to the neutral atom or molecule in the gaseous state then that energy is called or is defined as the electron affinity of that element so now we need to think that how it is happening suppose suppose i'm starting from lithium so you know that lithium it's three okay so it means the electron configuration is one s two two s one so if we see that the electron configuration the electron configuration of lithium it's suppose this is the nucleus and this is the 1s orbital so we know that in 1s orbital we have two electrons and in 2s orbital there is only one electrons and now if we need to add another electron it means that previously we had three protons and now it should be three electrons in the neutral state right now when we add another electron here then the number of electron is increased and when number of electron is increased here would be four electrons and then when lithium will accept one electron then it would be lithium minus and this negative ion and this negative ion means that in this state, in this gaseous state, 
in this gaseous state the number of electron is more than the number of protons because we know that normally the number of electrons and number of protons in an atom is equal so that it is electrically neutral but here it will become a negative ion and as we are adding an electrons with a neutral atom the energy will be released and in this case you must know that that the energy energy is minus 60 kilojoule per mole per mole so if we say that that this is one mole of electron one mole of lithium and we are adding one mole of electron and it's becoming one mole of negative ion negative ion then the energy will be minus 60 kilojoule per mole I'm just giving an idea that the quantitative value you can have a Google then you can see that ionization energy and you can see that electron affinity uh, of all the electron affinity energies of all elements which is available in Google so the lithium is minus 60 kilojoule per mole so why electron affinity is a periodic properties as because if you move from left to right of any periods we know that atomic radius is decreased and as atomic radius is decreased then the electron affinity will increase why as because as because suppose it's about lithium so now if I think about fluorine so if I think about fluorine then what will be the scenario so in case of fluorine fluorine we are adding one electron so it would be F minus when we are adding one electrons with fluorine then you know the energy would be minus 328 kilojoule per mole 328 kilojoule per mole whereas the lithium is minus 60 in fluorine so why in second period lithium's electron affinity is less but the electron affinity of fluorine is high as because you see the electron configuration of fluorine is in fluorine we have it is a nine number like uh, 11 so we have nine protons so it means nine protons means this is 1s2 2s2 2p5 so in second shell it has seven electrons so it means in the second shell suppose this is the first shell where these two electrons are here in 1s orbital but in 2s orbital there are two electrons and in 2p orbitals there are five electrons out there so when I will add another electrons another electrons it will become F negative and then the released energy because it's it, it, fluorine will have more prone to accept the electron as because it has seven seven electron outside so if we see that one two three four five six it was earlier that seven electrons so now if we see that adding one electrons so here would be eight electrons altogether in the or shell and then it will become F negative and the released energy would be so high because it was it, it was waiting to accept an electrons so the released energy will be so high so if you go from the left to right the uh, electron affinity would be higher and if you go from the group in a, in a group from upwards to downwards then you have the electron affinity is decreasing so if I give you some idea that suppose in case of fluorine in case of fluorine fluorine chlorine bromine iodine so it is 328 kilojoule per mole this is very very important and then 349 kilojoule per mole and then 322 kilojoule 
per mole. This is 328, uh, 49, and it should be like 295 kilojoule per mole. Now you see in group number 17, when I go down, like fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, you know that when you go down, the number of shells of elements will be increasing, the number of shells of protons. So in here, in 17, number group, this is halogen group, so if you go from fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, you see the ionization energy is decreasing. And like here, so atomic radius will increase, atomic radius will increase, but the ionization energy will decrease. And if you see the, the uh, first group, like lithium, like lithium, okay, sodium, potassium, okay, rubidium, and cesium. Now you can see this is 60, this is 53, this is 48, 47, and 46 kilojoule per mole. Now you see, in group number one, the electron affinity, the released energy is decreasing. And in case of group number 17 also, the released energy is also decreasing. So it means that electron affinity is a periodic properties. So if you go from left to right, the atomic radius will decrease and electron affinity will increase. If you go from from upwards to downwards, then the atomic radius will increase and electron affinity will decrease. So I hope you understand that what is the definition of electron affinity. So the definition of electron affinity is again I'm saying the amount of energy that is released when an electron is attached to the neutral atom or molecule and in the gaseous state then the released energy of that element is called the electron affinity and I hope you understand why this is negative this is definitely negative as because this is released energy so this must be negative so I hope you understand why it is negative so it's all about the electron affinity in these levels Definitely there are a lot of things to be explained here but as I am in the academic stage so I am following the syllabus and the limitations so I am uploading these things for you so that you can understand and to let me know that you understand it well and I am coming with another video after that with the uh, electronegativity which is another periodic properties of elements. So see you in that video. Take care. Stay well. Bye.